All right, so it's day two, and we stayed at Best Western Plus. Now, I gotta say, honestly, this was one of the best experiences I've ever had at a hotel. There are many unique things about it. So first off, uh, they had a balcony, which is not something that I usually see in, in my hotel rooms. Uh, secondly, I was allowed to use the gym, which they don't really, they don't usually allow minors to use the gyms in most of the hotels I've gone to, and it was nice for the price. So I guess they had to do this to compete with the other two hotels here, like the Holiday Inn and the Courtyard. But Best Western Plus, definitely a plus. So if you're going to MIT every weekend, they don't really recommend driving because there's not enough parking spaces available. Because you know this is Boston, and it's mostly biking here. Also, if you are going, if you are driving to Boston then it's definitely a good idea to stay here. It's only 15 minute, it's only 15 miles away, which is about a 20 minute drive from south of Boston. So nowadays, Oriental stores are all around the US, but there are some things that you can't find in your local Oriental store. So that's why whenever we go to a big city, like New York or Boston, we always take the chance to swing by any of the supermarkets uh, in those big cities, the Oriental supermarkets. So here we are right now at one of them. I forgot what the name of it was, but there you go. So my parents always try to remind me of my roots and if you didn't know I come from Malaysia, my parents come from Malaysia and we used to have a Malaysian restaurant in New Haven but it closed down so the closest uh, Malaysian restaurant is actually here in Boston uh, which is right behind me, Penang Malaysian Cuisine. I've never been there but my family has so if Izami goes to MIT then hopefully I'll be able to spend some time here. Alright, so right now we're in the uh, hallway area or the foyer area of Crescent Auditorium. You might be able to see the uh, Stratton Student Center right behind me. Uh, right now they're showing, I think it's the Europe student presentations where they're, they're, they're showing off all kinds of different things from uh, students who are doing research at MIT. Uh, so a few things that interested me in particularly were the cardboard keyboard, the cardboard piano, uh, or the one right behind me, the uh, actual recreation of Wizard's Chess from Harry Potter where the, the pieces move by themselves by using text-to-speech. It's actually pretty cool. <laughs> so if you're ever at MIT, you should definitely find a chance to go see one of these student presentations. Well, as you can see, MIT is not just for students who are geniuses, it's also for students who want to have fun. And we had a clip of these students outside dancing. So uh, at MIT, you don't just learn, you have fun. I think at the uh, lecture last night, they actually said, we don't call them exams, we call them celebrations of learning. So you know, at MIT, they're all about having fun here. All right, so this is one of the auditoriums or theaters in MIT. I think this is Crestgate Auditorium. Um, I think they do a few shows in here. I think uh, on the agenda here, there's actually like little, little, little theater. I'm not sure what that is, but it sounds like it's... Wait, is this... That's the name of this deer, I think. Little Fever. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Alright, down here is actually a smaller auditorium. Above us is the really big one. And let me show you that. auditoriums I've seen but I haven't been to many auditoriums so I wouldn't know. I think back over there you can see a few pipes. I think that's for a pipe organ. Um, I don't know where the actual organ is but those look like pipes for a pipe organ so I'm gonna assume that they are. <laughs> 